Hey y'all, it's your girl Kalila, and today I will be retwisting my locks for the first time. So you guys, I am now one year locked, and as you can see, we jumping right on into this video. Um, I will be showing you guys how I did my last retightening. Um, I decided to go ahead and do a retwist instead of a interlock, and I won't go into why I decided to do that, but um, I will make a separate video. So this video is just kind of going to explain how long it took, how I felt about it, and you know, things of that nature. So let's get right on into it. So to start, the product I will be using is the Ors Lock and Twist Gel. Um, I did stir this up really good because it's kind of like clumpy. Um, so you want to stir it up so it gives you that smooth um, texture. And I pretty much just went row by row, just like I would with my interlocks. I went row by row and went uh, lock to lock um, and retwisted. So I separated my rows. I added the gel on top um, and then I just twisted and clipped it. Real, real simple, you guys, real simple. Uh, <laughs> um, I will say that I did brush uh, some of the rows. It did help with like brushing the little, um, sh you know, the little short pieces that may have got out, out of the locks and things like that. And it also just felt really good. Like it really felt good to brush my scalp. Um, so I did that. And when I'm twisting, you guys, I am twisting straight out and I'm just kind of twisting, twisting, twisting until I get to the kind of the almost the end, halfway mid to the end um, of the lock. And then that's when I stopped. So um, on each side, I twisted going to the back. So on my right side, I went back. On my left side, I went back. Same thing in the back. On my left side, I went back. On my right side, I went back. For me, that was just easiest to remember. So where I left off, oh, I'm going back. It doesn't matter when I pick it back up, I'm going back. Um, and this was really quick and easy. And I did really enjoy doing this because it took so much less time than interlocking. Um, we all know interlocking takes hours on days, hours on days, okay? So I have 500 and like 545 locks, something like that. This took me about five hours. Um, I think if I was to do it again, it actually will go a little quicker. But since it was my first time, I think it took me a little longer. But if I was to do this again, I think I can max it out in three hours with my 544. Um, but yeah, I do like it. I'm going to show you guys um, the ending here, how it looked. And I'm going to also show you after about a week after it looked. And how I feel about the gel I used and everything like that. So once I completed an area, I would uh, dab my oils. Um, as I say all the time, I make my own oils. I think I was using Blossom when I used when I did this retie. Um, but I would dab some oils in some areas. I don't massage it in. I just dab it on in there and let it do its thing. Um, I did to complete. I, when I finished, I did use um, a scarf. And I actually slept in my clips. Now, this is probably midday when I'm finishing this. So I wore it out the rest of the day and then I did wrap it up to go to sleep. And honestly, if I wasn't doing this video, I would have wore my scarf around the next day and the clips in my hair the next day as well. I don't be in a rush to take it out. So, but here it is all complete, looking all nice and good. Um, I'm gonna do a little 360, kind of do a little 360 with my phone, you guys. Um, the finished product, and like I said, it took about five hours. And 
I wrapped it up to go to sleep. And then um, the next day, I had took the clips out and everything, but the next day when I went to sleep, I did put it back in the clips. I didn't put as many. I put maybe 20 in there. Um, about 20, 15 to 20 clips just to keep it stretched out um, to hold my twist down. Um, so I did that for about two days. And then also I will say that I did when I was like working out or anything that was like um, sweaty, like mowing my line, exercising, I would either clip it down or wear my scarf. And I also did this with my interlocks. That's just something I do. But with the twist, I definitely did it um, to make, um, just to make sure to give the twist some type of security um, to not unravel. So. so all of these were from the next day, taking the clips out and it's looking really good. I didn't see or experience any flaking or anything like that. Um, so no unraveling, anything like that the next day. I do feel like it was dry already though. I don't feel like I need some more. Oh goodness gracious. Uh, but yeah, it's looking, looking really good. I didn't do my edges or nothing like that. When I did the twist, I didn't twist my edges back. So six days later, you guys, it's still looking to me really, really good. Um, like I said, I didn't experience much, much flaking. I think I had a little bit, but that's just kind of, I feel like dry, my dry scalp. Um, Cause I would scratch my scalp a lot. So I don't think it was, it had anything to do with the gel that I use. Um, because it, I feel like if it was the gel, it would have been everywhere. And it wasn't everywhere, it was just in certain spots. So. Um, yeah, it's looking really, really good guys. So yeah, you guys, I really enjoy doing this, but I can't completely say that I'm going to make the switch. Um, I do feel like that the interlocks have a lot of pros and I feel like the twists have a lot of pros. For instance, I work out, so interlocks would definitely be better. Um, but the twists are really quick and they save a lot of time. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of pros and cons for all of the maintenance techniques that you can do. Just got to figure out what's best for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And until next time, guys. Bye.